Now let's look at the median. The median is the middle of your data, of your observations. It's exactly halfway through all of the data that you have. So what we do is we count down from the top and up from the bottom and we find exactly the halfway point between all of our numbers. And we'll have 50% of the data in the bottom half and 50% of the data in the top half and what splits them up is the median right in the middle, smack bang in the center. So in a data set like this, it's a little bit tricky to figure out what is the middle data point when these numbers aren't in order from lowest number to highest number. So the first step is to put them in order. So here are those numbers again, but now they've been arranged in order from lowest number to highest number. And so to find the median, what we do is we just count our way into the middle. And the way that I usually do this, which is a pretty quick freehand way of doing it, is to cross off a number at the beginning and a number at the end until we get to the middle, like this. That one, that one, from the middle, from the end, from the start, 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 from the end. So far I've done it in exactly even numbers and I've crossed off 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 from this side and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 from this side. Now I have two numbers in the middle. So I want to split my data right here and know what is halfway between 17 and 17. Well, what is halfway between 17 and 17? It's just 17. So that is the median of that data set. If I had two different numbers that I'd met in the middle there, um, for example, 51 and 85, something like that, and I wanted to know halfway between them, what I would do is add them up and divide by 2. So I'd say 51 plus 85 divided by 2 would give me halfway between those two data points, which in this example would be 68. And sometimes you'll be lucky enough that when you get to the middle, you don't have to split up two numbers. There's just a number there and that is your mean, uh, your median, and I'll show you that. To find the median of this data set, what I would first need to do is put them in order from lowest number to highest number. So lowest number here is three, then the next one is five, and the next one is eight, then the next number is 10, then 11, then 15, then 17, 18, and 19. So now it's in order, I can find the median by taking one from the bottom, one from the top. One from the bottom, one from the top, one from the bottom, one from the top, one from the bottom, one from the top, one from the bottom, one from the top. Bang! The median is 11. The middle number in the group. If you have a longer string of data like this, you can cross off more than one from the bottom and the top as you go, so long as you do it in a balanced amount. For example, if you do three from the bottom, you have to do three from the top. If you do five from the bottom, you have to do five from the top, or two, or two, etc. And you, we just count our way into the middle. So this is fairly long, so I might start with five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And now I might do four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now I'm just going to go in ones because I've only got a little bit left. One, 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 one. There's the median. The median is 24. So that's one method of finding the median is to cross some from the bottom, some from the top and work your way into the middle until you find the halfway point. There's another method that you could use if this one doesn't really work for you, if you don't really like it. And that is to find the n plus 1 over 2 th position. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. We say that n is the number of, um, the number of observations in our data set. And what we do is we say that plus 1 divided by 2, that position in the data will give us halfway. And I'll show you what I mean. Here's that data again. So if I'm going to use this method, I want to know n plus 1 over 2 for position, don't I? So n is how many observations or data points, how many numbers there are in this data that I'm counting up. So in this one, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's 14 points. So that's my n. So what I do is I say 14 plus 1 divided by 2 which gives me 15 divided by 2, which is 7.5. And, and now I say 
I put the th on the end and I say I want the seven and a half position into the data. So this is the first position. This is the second. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half gives me halfway between these two points. So that's where my median is, seven and a half of the way through the data. And this is exactly where I drew the line in the last example. And halfway between 17 and 17 is just 17. So that's my median. So here's that other data set we looked at. And first of all, I need to know how many uh, observations there are, the n. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There are nine of them. And this data here is, this, is just this, by the way, but I've just put it in order because you need it in order to work out the median. So there are nine observations. So I say 9 plus 1 over 2 is 10 over 2, which is 5. So I put the th on the end. I'm looking for the fifth position into the data. So this is the first, this is the second, this is the third, this is the fourth, this is the fifth here. The fifth position is my median. So the median is 11. What about this data set? Let's find the median using both methods. So we could say the n plus 1 over 2 foot position. So first we would need to know the n, how many there are. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So n is 12. So we would say 12 plus 1 over 2, which is 13 over 2, which is 6.5. So we'd find the sixth and a half position going through the data. So this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, this is 5, this is 6. The sixth and a half would be there. So our median would be halfway between 38 and 39, which would be 38.5. Now let's try it using the other method. So I'm going to count some from the bottom, some from the top, and find my way into the middle. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2. Now I've got two data points, so I split them up. And I've got halfway between 38 and 39 is 38.5. So I happen to think that this method is a little bit faster, which is a good thing. Yay! Because in an exam, well, you're going to want to go sort of quickly, particularly in exam one, which is multiple choice. You don't get any points. You don't get any marks for showing how you worked something out. So if you did it a quick way like this, if you still got the answer right, yay. So... Whatever method works for you, though, if the other one makes more sense and you find that that works for you, then go for it. Use that method. If this makes sense and you can do this quickly, then have a go at this one. So let's practice finding those three summary statistics, the mean, the mode, and the median for this uh, stem plot. So let's start with the mode because that one's often the quickest and easiest to find because it is the most commonly occurring. So in this uh, stem plot, 0 and then a bar and 3 just means the number 3. 1, a bar and then 0, for example, means the number 10. So let's go through. The number 3 occurs once, 6 occurs once, 8 is occurring twice, so that could be it. Uh, what else? We've got the number 14 because that's a stem of 1 and a leaf of 4. So 14 occurs three times. What else? 25 occurs twice. 32 occurs twice, but it looks like the winner is going to be 14 with three occurrences. So that is the mode. Now let's look at the mean. How do we find the mean? We add up all the data points and we divide by how many there are. So first we need to know how many there are. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So there are 22 total. And the number that we need to put on the top is all of these added together. So in my calculator, I'm going to do 3 plus 6 plus 8 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10 plus 14 plus 14 and so on. So that is 504. And dividing that by 22 gives us a mean, mean of 22.91. Rounding it off to two decimals. 
Now how about finding the median? We can do this using the crossing off some from the bottom, some from the top trick, just as easily with a stem plot as we can with a list. So what I'm going to do here is just cross off a balanced number of numbers from the bottom and the top, remembering this is the top of the data and this is the bottom. So let's go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Remembering because this is the highest number, I go backwards in from these stems and upwards from these ones. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 1, 1, 1. So it's in between these two data points. I've come to 18 and 24. So I want to know halfway between those two. I can do that in my head, or I can add 18 plus 24 divided by 2 on the calculator. And that's 21. So we had a mean of 22.91, we had a mode of 14, and we had a median of 21. Those last three summary statistics that we looked at, the mean, the median, and the mode, are measures of center. They're looking at where roughly the, the center of the data is, looking at some midpoint in the data that we can um, measure either side from. And they do it in different ways, obviously. Now let's have a look at some of the measures of spread, which are different in they look at how far the data ranges from one end to the other, how spread out it is. So these ones are the measures of center. And we're going to go through some of the measures of spread, which include range, interquartile range or IQR, standard deviation, standard deviation and variance.